Alrighty then. <laughs> Welcome to... This will be my first setup on America. Not Team America, which is pretty cool, but... <laughs> American Life Farming. Definitely going to jump in on this. I uh, tried doing some recordings earlier. Unfortunately, got a big hail and rainstorm here. And yeah, I just make a lot of noise in the video. So either way, I'm going to try and jump in and doing some research, trying to figure out what I can do. A lot of the brands are not American, but I'm trying to keep it. I do like John Deere, don't get me wrong. And I'm going to keep with whatever I can on that. But I'm, I'm going to start off with a little bit lesser utilized group, I think. But, uh... Also, I'm going to have just a full deer farm. Originally, here's our homestead. And, uh, actually, I like John Deere. I like Case IH. You know, my grandfather worked for International Harvester back in the day. Of course, he's passed now. But, you know, the way he worked there when we were, when they made cars, like stuff like this, Scouts and International, you know, whatchamacallit. But, but not before they were actually just farm all, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, they've had a lot of history, too. But, anyway, i got some options here I'm going to work with. And, like I said, I might have a few different types of farms, which obviously is uh, a lot of fun, but whatever. So, first and foremost, um, starting off in new farmer mode, which apparently most everything works only on new farmer. <laughs> some of y'all don't even know the struggle of this here. He's even got the clothespins on some of this awesome. Remember our kids used to put this laundry out on the clothesline and like the rainstorm we had this afternoon, if you didn't get it in time, guess what? It was still wet. <laughs> and cold. Oh my gosh. So they had to leave it out longer or end up drying it somehow anyway. So <laughs> at least here our our rainstorms are pretty quick and over with. We got some mail. Apparently we don't have any mail. Cool. So, yeah, I'm going to try and uh, assist. Okay, let me go ahead before I get into this. I'm going to try... I was actually hoping to put, like, a... This would be really cool to get something like this. Even this... The pillow or anything. But I see I can't put them on the porch. It would be really neat. Yeah. Get those uh, farming folk, and they got their little porch swing or whatever. I can put it out here, which is fine. I'll put it out over here. Corner of the house here is where we were kids. We had some things like this too where we just sat out there. Had these on the porch. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put them over here. Nah, I'll keep by the house. Keep by the house so the parents can hear the kids outside where they're supposed to be at. So we got our little sleep trigger. And lawn chairs. Not tired yet, so cool. Alright, so did a couple map tour ideas, but originally starting off New Farmer, we got these two fields up here. Uh, the sleep trigger I just put down, so there's no house usually anywhere on the map, so that's nice. You can put it wherever you want. So we have 34 and 32. And I guess I could have probably put it over at this house too, but you know, whatever. Interesting thing, I did notice that these houses don't have garages. Everywhere that used to be type of garages, hey look, changed into a home. Some type of a uh, housing deal. Hmm, maybe I'll put that chairs over here at this house. Either way, figure it out. Starting off here, um, <laughs> needs plowing, needs lime, all right. So, obviously, um, this is my first gameplay on it, so. Ba basic crops, wheat, barley, oat, cotton, canola, sunflower, soybean, corn, potato, sugar beet, oilseed, radish, poplar, grass, and sugar cane. But he also added the triticle, which I guess is a cross between wheat and barley, I believe is what. I'm going to sit on there. I looked it up. Interesting. Um, he's also got... Oops. I don't know if I hit the right button. That would be awesome. Rye, sorghum, rice, carrot, onion, millet, and tomato. I'm debating on... 
taking this strip of grass here. Tried to plow it, obviously, I need it, but throw some tomatoes in there. Hey, can't hurt. Try it. Let's <laughs> see our little field needs plowed right there. It's kind of cool. But. Um, so, yeah, just to let you know, there's a cow farm right here. Cow shed right over in here. I'm pretty sure this is pigs. I'm sorry, I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to go around and figure it all out, too. But, again, <laughs> all kinds of farms around here. More stuff there. This one here, actually, someone was asking me about, too. It's a cow farm. This is the whole area. I mean, this you have to buy this whole thing. It's a lot of money. But you get 13 and 38, which is cool. Plus the water trigger and all this silos. The silos you don't get to use either until you own the property, which is nice. It's interesting, different, let me put that way. What's this cow farm? There's a slurry pit right here, but right behind here, where that little dot's at, that's where um, there's a little, a little white domed uh, cow shed, and that's where you put calves. So I'm definitely going to try and get to the point where I get some calves in there. That'd be neat. They do take milk, so obviously you're going to have to get some cows started up and get some milk for them to get them to grow. Uh, milk and hay. But yeah, if you want to check it out, throw some money on there and hit that 1.7 million. <laughs> well, over 1.7 million. Go from there. But then over here, I didn't point this out last time, unfortunately, but this is where chickens are at. But 1.69, almost 1.7 million whew, for some chickens. Why don't you buy it? That old pins pop up. It's pretty cool. Uh, over here's where the sheep are at, and maybe that's where the horse. Is. You know, I haven't. I'm sorry, like I said, I, I don't remember everywhere where everything's at. It's not too expensive there, but I have a couple animal dealers. There's an interesting one here and one up top here. Oh, up, up top. Top, 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 top. Yep, right there. Right next to us. So, um, there's a map. Pretty good size, pretty good stuff. Got the highway in the middle, and it's funny the cars do not go very fast on the highway. It's like it's a highway. But, anywho, let me go ahead and show you what we got here. Obviously, got, see the, I love the John Deere, told me, like I said, like, this is going to be an American. I'm going to do a John Deere one specifically. Everything I can't get John Deere, but fortunately, a 41 and 48 slot count is really high. Let's see what I'm looking at is uh, see the case. That's 25. You know, it's 30. So that case is 41, 38. Oh, that's because we already have one. Three, 27 vultures, but I don't 12. 12. That's that's a huge difference. 13. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, don't everybody hate me, <laughs> getting rid of the John Deere stuff. Like I said, I'm going to do a John Deere specific map, so actually I'm going to get rid of all this thing stuff. So we get some money back and some, some slots, man. <laughs> I already went through a bunch of this and tried getting things. I was looking up and like Coon and Horsch and... New Holland and all these things are stuff's made in America, but it didn't originate here. But still, I'm, I'm trying to keep it as legit as I can. Doors so nice, smooth. Thank you so much, Lancy Boy, for this is Stone Valley. I, I, these a lot of these buildings remind me of it, but and I liked Stone Valley. It was amazing, but I just could not. I did not like the sound of the doors, unfortunately. That clang, clang, bang, bang stuff is like, oof. And it's just my personal preference. I mean, the maps are amazing, and that one, Stone Valley is ridiculously awesome, too. This one's just going to be... Make everybody happy. It's got some wheat there. Let me check something real quick. That's actually you. I want to check this out real quick. Let me go over here. I'll show something. <laughs> I got right through. What? 
That doesn't happen in real life, but... <laughs> Train. Uh, I, was reading, I was watching Nancy Boyd's review of the map here. Oh, that's... Some thought that was corn. Hmm. Oh, oh, I'm totally off. Let's go to this one then. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Some of these textures that he added in here to look at that corn. Looks a little more corn like instead of the corn stalks and stuff. Pretty cool. Anyway, look, I can't go to a vehicle yet. <laughs> so, 717,000 to work with. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm looking at. I was playing around looking some stuff up, and apparently Massey is, like, ranked number two. With the, uh... Tractors, American. It says American, but oh, they weren't necessarily. They were Canada and UK, I guess, combined. And but they have, I guess, one of the top manufacturers in America. So I must do a Massey farm with this original setup. Like I said I'll do a John Deere specific farm. I'll put the information in and separate them out so we can figure out. But this, I just want to try something different. You don't see a lot of people using Massey. I've never used them before, so. Just want to get these done. This one I've been playing with is pretty cool. I don't want to go too crazy, but I don't have the narrow tires, but since I crop destruction on, I ask, I know you can't really tell me, but please, I need to remember not to take that into the fields. I don't want to destroy anything. <laughs> Just no good. I did do some mower updates. The pot and was the cheapest, but I'm trying to keep the, like I said, the uh, American, but see that green giant, Kuhn, 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 or uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get these, keep it the red color. Okay, so, and I, this one's longer, but wait. 8.8. Oh, see, that's sorry. I was like, what is it going to be? It's 48, not 38. Wow, I'm losing it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got that going. Oh, we're going to need to get a tether. Got a specific massy one. <laughs> I'm going to need to get a windrower, which this is the one I like, so I'm going to use this. That's where it's missing red, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Right there. Okay, cool. So we'll pick that feather up. Try to think of what I'm gonna need. So we got the coons here. And the, no, I don't like this round bales. Just really don't like it. <laughs> but we have a massy here too. <laughs> but I have to lease that guy because uh, yeah, I don't have enough to buy it yet. So, but. Try to do some contracts and I'll do some things here. So I'm going to lease all these things here. I'm trying to keep it legitimate to everything that actually I can. I 
I know Crone's not American or anything either, but this trailer works amazing for what I'm doing with it, so I'll snide that guy up and Alright, so I'm trying to think of a Cool. Well, I'm gonna need a truck, so that would be helpful. And what better truck, especially on this to get see now I don't want the coming gosh, I'm not sure what this is. I think it's coming. Copperhead is just amazing. I love the Copperhead, but I mean, just the look of that thing is just, wow. The problem I have with it is the riveting, the sound. Of, I just, I'm sorry, I just some of the noises just throw me off, and I apologize, not against anything, buddy, but just, I can't just, I just can't do it. Ooh, can I make copper out of this belt? Jack Moose is pretty cool, too, so let's see. Let's see. Hmm. I don't see any other of the coppers for the rest of this stuff. I guess it's pretty... Oh, no, I don't want to buy it. <laughs> yeah, no. I do like the bronze fire. It's so cool. Dirt. What I usually do is the bronze one. Now let's see what this looks like with the uh, decals. I like. Ooh, that's pretty funky. I like it. Kind of like that. Don't. I sort of like the cabin. I do like the Phoenix on it, but I don't really need it though. It's just do it with the uh, farm trucks, a little regular. <laughs> I like the Seminole. Man, that's that is pretty cool looking. Yeah, buddy. crazy there. I promise it's 85,000 already. We're like, jeez Louise. Well, there's that, but <laughs> it's 109. That'll take all of our money here, so yeah. Just, let me take a look here. What I can do? Boy, that changes real quick. It's 82,000. Let me see what I can do with. here. I think what is Yeah, I don't wanna try and go too crazy with this. Alright, so I'll just leave it at this. 
That's nice. But see, I can always upgrade it later. So, well, let me see with the exhaust. How much different it is. Hmm, that's not too bad. Alright, I'm going to keep it there. I want to just plain jank it that. <laughs> but, I also want the trailer. Okay, wait. No, I don't need the trailer. Okay, cool. 24 grand. We'll keep that. Corn. Alright, sorry. Whoa, hey. That's not what I wanted. Biggest reasons why I got that bigger tractor so that way I can uh, pull the plow and a few things that I'm looking for that. and get to that stage. So, <laughs> America, well, American life farming. That's what that flag is there for. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and get all this equipment down here, get this mowing started, and uh, we will talk to you guys in a few minutes once we get something going. <laughs> Look at the size of this puppy. This tractor's taking up the whole road. Got the windrow and the... Yeah, the baler. Wow. <laughs> Cruising. This guy's going a little too slow. I got four more wheels than he does. Over here. This should be about done with the tedding, maybe? Yeah, just about. I'm going to do some finishing touch-ups. This is just one of those weird fields over here. <laughs> it's so narrow. Like, that's why I was thinking about putting tomatoes in here. Tomatoes, onions, or something simple. Just, just try it. For some reason, I'm having problems with trying to get a helper over there, so I don't know what's going on. Well, actually, anywhere, honestly. Helper doesn't seem to want to help, except for, well, this part did, but the mowing, they sure did not. Last time I did this, it didn't. All the grass was tedded over, and one little spot got through where the grass picked up before the hay did, and it turned the whole bale into hay grass, and then I had to wait until the. I appreciate the fact that it just uses part of it, but still, I should have been all hay, but whatever. It is what it is. It's fun to see in this tractor and the other one with those big old wow. <laughs> the dual wheels of crazy hoops. I missed all of it there. Let me go ahead. Make sure that turns into hey <laughs> ish. I don't know how long we got off the tracks, but either way, whatever. I didn't pull this at all either. Wow. Wow. Think there's no train? <laughs> this would be a disaster. I 
Like, help, help. Call 911. Call 1 800 911. Or what? <laughs> this one here. Oh, might as well leave that out because I'm going to need it. I know I don't need the lights on, but. I need the lights on, kind of ish. I do have the Klaus DLC and then the uh, Riverside Farms been using that since she has Mr. B uses the Klaus uh, dealership so I changed everything to that there Klaus good stuff I mean it's German so I mean obviously well, and obviously people know that but but I'm trying to keep things on here I think, yeah, I'm gonna finish this up and then go straight to John Deere on this track so I can get this. I like playing with different equipment sometimes. And everybody loves their John Deere. Everybody wants to play John Deere. Everybody wants John Deere to John Deere, John Deere. That's great. That's cool. I shouldn't say everybody because I'm not one of those. I like John Deere. Like I said, I'm not against it whatsoever at all. Bit of everything is all. Right, so keeping the hey, 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 hey. I wonder if 82 Studios would do a uh, auto load baler wagon, that'd be or trailer. That'd be cool. Really cool. Hint, hint. <laughs> that would be neat if you actually was paid. Being like that, that'd be cool. Yeah, he's got some amazing stuff. This. Ooh, hopefully, there's some pulling grass. Oh, hey. I saw there's some grass there. I mean, either which way, but it's my problem is, I'm not sure where I'm talking about. Um, there's no silage there at all. I think that's because I don't have the biogas plant, but I'm trying to turn this into hay, because grass and then hay. Definitely get a little more out of the hay. Whatever. So I'll be a plow at some point anyway. That guy up on the end, didn't I? Come on, make the turn, make the turn, make the turn. Yeah, right, cool. Ah, missed a little bit, but that's right. <laughs> so I'm going to finish this all up, pick it up, we'll figure out where we're going to put it, and, uh, from that point so I will be back here shortly all right so got all the bills picked up <coughs> See, man, apparently the place to drop them off is straight down the highway cruising along <laughs> Check us out. 
lot louder than pretty much everything else on the view in the map, but <laughs> it is awesome. Let's see the green glowing up in the oop. I got the lights on my door. <laughs> I was like, look at that, it's glowing. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be, sorry. <laughs> Bridge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Biogas plant is sixty bazillion dollars. <laughs> I joke, I joke, I key to key. Ah, oh, crud, I forgot I was supposed to go off the highway there. I can't turn here. Bad idea to do that on the highway, but forget <laughs> okay well totally not the way you're supposed to do this but <laughs> soon Americans do a lot worse <laughs> I think we all have Bye-bye. Because, especially for uh, yard yard truck tractors, oh man, they're so so much better. Just for uh, right, so four grand, four six grand, not bad. Mistake of return in the uh, the baler because I got that whole other field to do. So oh, that's not what I did. That's what I meant to do at least. Okie dokie. Artichoke. <laughs> so this is having problems with the. Uh, Helper to mow the other yard. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. But first and foremost, first of all, I should say, go ahead and go back on the highway here, and we will truck along. Farm Simulator 22. Simulator 22. Farm to Joe. <laughs> Clutch DJ. Pretty good guys. I watch a lot of their streams too. It's pretty cool. There's several. It's a lot. People that I keep an eye on. Just good info. Helps me learn what I'm learning. And makes my gameplay more enjoyable. That is Bow Shout. So let me see. stuff it is amazing and only needs 200 horsepower so I gotta, well, honestly I don't technically have to plow that because if I use oops, oops, oops. Oh, I guess I do for those 
Zaka donc. But it's also $1,000 cheaper, twice as much. Oh my god, or more expensive, sorry. And they actually get more. That's funny. Uh, not really funny, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Hold on a second. Let me. Yeah, do everything pretty much but tomatoes. Figures. <laughs> Never mind. There's the machine that'll drill. Man, that's a really high end one. Even least that's 11. Jeez, that's. Well, that's not, and it's not even the high end. Okay, so, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the plow out. The deer, the deer plow. from there. Um, so I'm going to do a John Deere version too, so that way everything's dear and everybody's happy. <laughs> if you like the video, please hit like, subscribe, say hello. If you have any questions, any problems, any ideas, throw them in the comments down below, please. Appreciate it. And now I'm going to get my uh, Massey and get some John Deere plowing going. Which one do I need? So actually both of them can do it. It's so cool. So if you like, yeah. Talk to you all later. Have a great day.